Welcome to today's video. In this video, we will show you how to make a slicer in Excel. You will also see how to have multiple slicers that talks to an interactive pivot table and chart to show you the updated information. So let's start. Here is a table that contains the order details of stationary items from different regions of a company and through various sales representatives. You need to make a pivot table. If your boss asks for a summary sales report, you need to make a pivot table by selecting this data, going to insert, clicking to pivot table and specifying the place where the pivot table will come and click on OK. From here, you can select the items in the rows section and the total sales in the values section and you will get a summary of the items ordered from the data that you have. But you send this report to your manager and he asks what is the total order from a particular region. You can see that here different regions are there and if you need to provide region wise report to your manager then you need to select the region field into the filter section and here the region filter will come from where you can select any of the regions say central or east or west also you can select multiple items from here and show the data pertaining to more than one region but you can see that this is not a very user friendly interface and any person who is not aware of the pivot table feature to whom you are sending the report will not be able to very easily navigate through this report here is where the excel slicers coming to include the slicer you need to go to insert while selecting the pivot table and click on the slicer option from here and select the data field on which you want to add a slicer here our recommend is the region so we will check on the region data field and click on ok now you can see that here a slicer has appeared you can do some formatting with this you can select this go to the slicer tab which has appeared just now in the ribbon at the top and you can select any vibrant color from here like this as you like now if you select central from this the report will be changed and the pivot table will now show the order details pertaining to the central region you can select the east or west or any other criteria to show the report as you want you can even show multiple regions data into your pivot table from a slicer to show the multiple regions data you need to hold the control key from your keyboard and select as many as options that you want to clear the filters you need to click on this button and the pivot table will now show the order summary irrespective of the regions that is the total for the company you can select multiple items from here also if you check on this now you can select any number of criteria from the slicer now to make it more user friendly what we can do is to insert a pivot chart we will select the pivot table and go to insert tab and click on a pivot chart here excel is showing you the best possible pivot chart from your table click on ok and you will see a pivot chart here will make some modifications to the appearance now you can select any of the criteria from the slicer and the pivot chart will be changed according to your selection you can have multiple slicers for a pivot table or pivot chart select the pivot table or the pivot chart go to insert and click on slicer and have one more criteria maybe you want to get the order data representative wise so click on the representative field and click on ok now you have this representative slicer but it is a long list 
so you can select this and go to the slicer tab and increase the number of columns from here now it is a better display you can adjust it to have a even better display Now you have two sets of criteria, one is region and another is the representative. So now you can go to the region slicer, click on the central and it will show the order data of the central region irrespective of the representative. Now if you want to specifically see how many orders came through Smith, then you click on Smith. The chart will show you the data pertaining to the particular sales representative. You can have multiple selection from here if you want to see the data of multiple sales representatives together. So with the slicer and pivot chart, you can convert your data to an extremely user friendly report within a very short time and present it to the people you want. If you have learned anything new in this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with the people it will be helpful to. Thanks for watching.